Hey guys, Kevin Olson from TextLearn.com, and this is the review exercise, the calculator exercise for topic two of the intro to Java series. The link is in the description if you need it. All right, so the instructions here are to create this simple calculator that basically takes two different values from the user. It's going to use a scanner to save them and store them as doubles into the computer's memory, and then we're going to perform computations to get the sum product, quote, and remainder, and finally we're just going to print everything out. All right, so without further ado, let's just launch Eclipse, go to File, New, Java Project. We're going to call this Basic Calculator. All right, and then in the source folder, we're going to create a new package called Basic Calc and a new class file called Calculator. And we'll add the main method automatically and click Finish. All right, so the first step here in, under the main method is to create the scanner. Oop, I didn't type that right. Make sure you document your code. And we're gonna say scanner user input equals new scanner system.in. And I'm gonna go through this relatively quickly because I did show um, how to do everything pretty much in the actual lecture video for the second topic, which you can also view on my YouTube channel or by visiting the website and clicking the link. And you'll notice that scanner is underlined in red. I did this intentionally, and that's because I didn't import the scanner object from the Java API. And in, Eclipse is intelligent enough to recognize that, okay, you want to create a scanner, but you didn't import it. So if you go to scanner and highlight it over it, you can actually use a quick fix and import the scanner. So what happened here is Eclipse just automatically added the import statement for the scanner. So now we have it imported and we have a scanner that we're ready to use. So we're going to get the user values. So system.out.println, we're going to say a little message, welcome to calculator. And then system.out.println, please enter your first value. All right, and we're going to create a double x, and we're going to set that equal to user next double. So we're setting whatever the next double they enter to the value of x. And we're going to do the same thing for the second value. Please enter your second value. All right, and we're going to say double y equals user input dot next double. So now we have the first value set to x and the second value set to y. All right, and at this time, point, we're actually done using the scanner, so we could close it here if we want to. So we should say close scanner user input dot close because we're done using the scanner. All right, and now we can perform the computations. So we're gonna create new double, double sum equals x plus y, double product equals x times y, double remain or quotient equals x divided by y, and double remainder equals x modulus, which is the percent sign y. So now we have all our computations done, and it's just a matter of printing out the results. So system.out.println results are as follows. All right, so now we're gonna print out the results, and we're actually gonna use the printf method so we can, um, so we can have the x values and the y values in there. So we do sum, we're gonna use the format and specifier, percent %f, plus percent %f equals percent %f. And obviously the first one's going to be x, the second one's going to be y, and the third one's going to be sum. So we add a comma, we do x, y, and sum. Those are the um, arguments we're going to pass to the printf. And to create a new line, because printf doesn't automatically create a new line, at the end of this we can do backslash n, and this actually creates a new line for us. Sum Next one is product percent %f times percent %f equals percent %f, and we do x, y, and this time it's the product. And I forgot to do the new line, so we're actually going to have a new line as well. Product quotient percent %f divided by percent %f equals percent %f, and we're going to do x, y, and quotient. And the final one we have is the remainder percent %f divided by percent %f equals percent %f. 
and I forgot the new line again, and we don't need a new line here because it's the last line in the program. So we do x, y, and remainder, and end with a semicolon. So we created the scanner, we got the user input, we closed the scanner, and then we performed the computations and printed out the results. Let's see if it works. Save, run. Welcome to calculator. Please enter your first value. I'm going to enter 100, and the second value I'll enter 10. All right, and now it says the results are as follows. Sum 100 plus 10 is 110. Product 100 times 10 is 1,000. Colon 100 divided by 10 is 10, and the remainder for that would be 0 because 10 goes into 100 um, 10 times exactly. All right, so that concludes this little um, review video. I hope you found it useful. Take care, guys.